Many thanks to Nuv, Jerb, Scalespeedy Gaming, Devotan, Jaren and Boydy for making this video possible. DayZ 1.10 is here and this means tips time. And because this patch is so mahoosive, I've decided to give you 50 tips this time round instead of 30. And because all of the love you guys give my content, thank you very much for giving me a platform. Anyway, less talk, more tips. Sawing off the Mosin, double barrel shotgun and BK-18 now reduces their length so they don't raise as much. The flare gun is back and lights the ground in a 100 meter radius for exactly 30 seconds when fired into the air. Using it as a weapon isn't a possibility this time round as it does no impactful damage to players or infected. However, you can still use it to suicide along with being able to suicide with rubber slugs. Knives now become damaged much faster but whetstones now require only 10% to restore one quality level of a knife. It's not possible to shoot through any player made wall or gate but you can shoot through the floors of the watchtower. You can create a very powerful bomb using a stove and cooking pot or frying pan, detonating up to 6 grenades inside with a 20 second timer from pristine. The V3S has been re-added and is called the M3S in blue, green and tan this time, but only allows 2 players maximum for now. The M3S will be best for transporting goods with its base building slots, but also allows you to carry up to 1400 slots worth of goods. Only fuel and a truck battery is required to start one with the truck battery being very heavy and found in industrial locations. You can destroy a truck battery with 4 shots from the M4 or 3 shots from the Mosin, stopping the engine once ruined. But the easiest way to stop the M3S is to shoot the driver, with the canopy providing no protection at all from being penetrated in the rear. Two single wheels can be stored here for extra protection from behind and you can combine two single tyres to make a double tyre. Once fused together you will need a tyre iron to separate them into single tyres again. The M3S has such a high clearance that you can crawl straight under it or you can go prone to avoid taking damage if someone tries to run you over. Jumping out of a moving vehicle will now kill you if you're travelling faster than 30 kilometers an hour. Epoxy putty can now be used to repair car accessories like doors and hoods to pristine. Also the pipe wrench can be used to repair engines from badly damaged to pristine again. If you want to remove the annoying glare that you get on a windshield, no one's stopping you. Punching without gloves on now has a chance to make you bleed but only when punching hard surfaces, not players or infected. Punching with gloves on will reduce the quality level of gloves very rapidly against any surface, even players, but not with a can in your hands. Full damage now has a chance to break your legs based on how heavy you are and causes a lot of shock damage. Breaking your leg is not easy through full damage but shooting someone in the leg with these high damage rounds has a very high chance to cause a fracture. This icon appears when you have a fracture and if you try to run, roll or perform physical attacks you will take a lot of shock damage. While you have a fracture, infected are super ultra extremely dangerous as they hit you to the floor with every single hit, meaning you can't fight back without a gun. However, if you make a splint using two sticks and four rags, you won't take any shock damage when you walk and infected can't hit you to the floor. With or without a splint, it takes 15 minutes to heal from a fracture and you can't pick up any heavy items during this time. If you can't make a splint, holding control on PC to walk inflicts no shock damage and also makes you look very drunk. Using codeine or morphine while you have a fracture will allow you to run further without taking shock damage, with morphine being the best. While you have a fracture and you're standing or crouched, your shock stat won't regenerate. Go prone to regenerate it. If you do go unconscious, you will drop anything that's in your hands, anything at all. Don't forget it when you get back up. While sprinting, you drain 0.6 energy per second. While your temperature is blue, you consume an additional 0.5. Don't ignore this being blue. Staying warm is more difficult now as hot items within your clothes cool down in a matter of minutes. This makes the heat pack well worth using in this patch due to its smaller size in 1.10, giving you a good amount of heat for 20 minutes. Another way to stay warm is the new heat buffer stat which is gained by being next to a fire and lasts for 3 minutes minimum. Food now rots over time but rots 2.5 times faster inside your inventory. While in your inventory, raw meat will rot in roughly 2 hours and raw fruit and raw vegetables will rot in roughly 4 hours. Cooking food extends the lifetime of food tremendously, with dried meat lasting up to 8 days when not in your inventory. Drying food can now be done in these smoke slots found in fireplaces, drying fruit in 30 seconds and meat in 2 minutes. There's no need to worry about burning dried food in a fireplace as it's impossible for now, but dried food loses 90% of its hydration once cooked. The best way to cook food is by baking it, providing an increase of 75% energy compared to raw as seen here. When baking food with fat, fat will lose 12.5% every time it cooks something inside the cooking pot. Rotten fruits and vegetables will still give you perfectly usable seeds. If you want seeds from a healthy vegetable or fruit, eat it until it's a low percentage because you still get the same amount of seeds. Zucchinis are now the best food to grow, providing 60 energy per zucchini now, an increase of 300 
100%. To get a full white apple here, you need 4,000 energy now. And to get hydration, you need 2,400. Like drinking with bloody hands, eating with bloody hands now causes salmonella. Be careful of this. You can now skin animals with axes, saws, pickaxes, crowbars, and even a screwdriver. But melee weapons will now cause less damage to animals. Using animal skin and lime, you can craft leather, which can then be combined with a leather sewing kit to make the re-added bullsack. Killing infected on the coast now yields a much higher chance of getting life-saving supplies from them. Bonus tab. If you change from first person to third person very rapidly, your head is invisible 50% of the time, reducing the chance of getting shot in the head by 50%. Maybe. This patch has been extremely controversial for the daisy community with the addition of survival mechanics like breaking your legs and not being able to move, food decaying so you have to go hunting more often and constantly struggling to stay warm, all of which make the game more difficult. But another player might see these as great features that enhance the survival experience. After all, daisy is literally described as being a hardcore survival game. So it's very clear that this debate will rage on forever within the daisy community. Now, if you're struggling to survive in this patch, I've made a few videos on the survival mechanic changes in 1.10 and if you enjoyed this video why not subscribe i do tips videos like this for every single patch thank you for watching and good luck <laughs>